Jordan there saying that he will learn from the controversy. Yeah, and to be fair, we should have actually described him as someone whose work we were following on the show rather than as the one show dog trainer as such. But thanks for all of your comments, and we do take uh, the criticisms that many of you have made about his techniques seriously, although they do have some supporters as well. Yeah. Now, <coughs> Joe Ingalls is a vet who's made films for the one show, but Joe, you've made it very clear that you personally don't agree with Joe's techniques, do you? No, I don't agree with the techniques that were shown, particularly in that first film. Um, I mean, as this has shown, it's a very controversial topic. There's passionate opinions on both sides of the debate. Mm. And there are these two schools of thought. There's the dominance-based school of thought on training, which is what Jordan used in that first yeah. film. And then there's the reward-based positive associations counter-conditioning type approach, which really is based on a lot more real science, and it's become the consensual opinion against, uh, amongst most dog trainers and professionals over the last 20 years or so. Um, and it's also, you know, in most people's opinion, the most effective as well as being the most yeah. humane when. Mm -hmm. And the other point I'd say, which was also um, mentioned in the film, is that with um, positive rewards, it's hard to go too far wrong. But if you get this wrong, if you get the, the dominance, the confrontational approach wrong, mm -hmm. you know, it can have really serious consequences for, you, for the dog and for yourself. Yeah, so. yeah. It, it's a real grey area, isn't it? The whole dog training qualification side of things. I mean, Jordan, he used to work as a veterinary assistant, but I mean, it is. It's... It is. I mean, unlike professions like the veterinary profession or dentistry or doctors, there isn't an overarching governing body who says, you know, who can practice. You know, anyone can set themselves up as a dog trainer or behaviourist. Yeah. Um, there are qualifications out there. And I think if people are looking for a behaviourist, if they've got a problem dog, then first thing to do is talk to their vet, make sure yeah. there's no physical problems underlying it, and make sure there's nothing else that could be triggering the problem, and then try and get recommendations, talk to other pet owners, yeah. talk to your vet, and talk to some of the governing bodies and, and associations like the Dogs Trust to get a recommendation for a trainer who fits in with your philosophy and your pet and your way of life. And the key at the end of the day is start, you mean, you go on, start with the training right with the treat reward. You never end up in a exactly, situation you know, where your dog has to be correct. Yeah, ideally, we would never have these problems. Yeah. We wouldn't need behaviourists because yeah. people would choose the right pet and they would bring them up properly with positive um, rewards to begin with and train them you know in a good way from the beginning but brilliant thank you so much Joe thanks a lot right good with uh, Downton Abbey back on the TV it does make you wonder what it would